what Doyle has going for him above all, above and beyond is twofold, really. The longevity. I mean, he's eight, in his late 80s. And last time I played with him, I was, I'm like, how is he getting better? <laughs> like, I really felt yeah. like he was playing better than he had, you know, in the previous years. Um, but also with Doyle, like, Doyle had to figure, you know, we talked about my generation having to figure it out on our own. I mean, he, they really had to figure it out on their own. Like, they didn't have any computer simulation to tell you if Ace King was a favorite over pocket sixes. They didn't. Mm-hmm. So we know what he did. He would take a deck of cards and they would deal out sim and they would, with a notepad, right? Okay, <laughs> Ace King won. And then they would do like a hundred of them and be like, all right, Ace King won like 53. So it must be a favorite. And he did it manually, you know? And he did it in a time when it was very, very difficult. And he's seen poker ev- evolve and change throughout the years. Now, listen, is he going to be able to compete against the top players in the world today? Absolutely not, you know? But how many people, he's the I'll carry, He's the best 88-year-old player in the world by a mile. <laughs> okay, that's not even close. And Doyle, again, he's another guy who plays all the games. He's played high stakes cash, tournaments, you name it. He's iconic. You know, he's the godfather. So, But there's also an element to that, so the I- iconic element, like you're a personality in poker. I mean, not to romanticize this thing too much, but poker is also a game of personalities. I mean, it's yeah. part of the greatness is like, the uniqueness of the human being. Yeah, I think also, yeah. I mean, if you like looking at it from that perspective in terms of like goat, like goat in terms of what you represent, like yeah. the cowboy, the yeah. godfather, you know, he's been around, you know, he played in the 60s and stuff like that. It's just something like incredibly cool. Like I, I often think about if I could go back in time and like visit, you know, an era, mm-hmm. I'd love to go like to Vegas in the 70s. Just like, I'm pro- I already, like, I can think of what it would smell like, probably not ideal, cigarettes and, you know, the leather jackets and just the vibe of what it must have been like with the mobsters and things like that. And, you know, he's lived through all that, mm-hmm. all the cool movies we've seen. Like Doyle talks about some of those films and he's like, yeah, that guy, off- he said he was going to stab me in my stomach. You know, he, he knows these people. It was, he's like a, a source of history. Really. Yeah. When poker was uh, a, a game for the mob and the de- the degenerates and all that kind of stuff before it transitioned into professional sport. Yeah. A uh, professional game. Yeah, so he was there through the whole thing. He he's been there through the whole transition. He's seen it all, yeah.